Huh? You see the word Tawheed? This is where the word uh, Tawheed came from. This is Muhammad. He, and you, and you, Muhammad is the one who fabricated this word. He added in the Hadith. It's not, it's not in the Quran. So, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so you just made... Uh, so you just saw the ayah in the Quran, uh, and you just take the literal uh, understand the, the literal translation and what it means that unify to Allah. Can you tell me? Uh, I'm sorry if you know, if I'm if I'm being a little bit slow. Could you tell me that uh, the verse and the name of the surah? This is not Quran, my friend. This is in the Quran. It's not exist. The word Tawheed does not exist. But here, this is Hadith. Oh. This is Hadith Sahih al Bukhari, Hadith number mm -hmm. seven three seven two. And this is very uh, sahih. Seven, this is very uh, sahih. So we find the tawheed in the hadith. We don't find it in, in the in the stupid Quran. So here we ask ourselves: If Muslims, if yeah. Muhammad he knew Arabic very well, and if Muhammad he speak mm -hmm. Arabic very well, how in the world he used the word tawheed when Allah is already one? Uh, can you give me the number of hadith if you don't mind? Hadith number seven three seven two, Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah. Three seven three two. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm just searching for it if you don't mind holding on. Well, you know, you need to search, search in English because English numbers is not the same as Arabic numbers. Just take a note of that. So, search in no, English. No, no. Huh? Okay, I'll search it in English. That will be well, easier. Open, open sunnah.com. Open sunnah.com. Okay. And just to try to copy the same sentence, like be the Tawheed of Allah. Okay. Just, just copy yeah. the same sentence, put it in the search engine, you will find the hadith. The Tawheed of Allah. Yeah, I, I searched it on Google. Uh, yeah, it is sunnah.com. Teaching of the Prophet. Uh, and the yeah, chapter, I'm not the sure. The chapter number is, chapter name is, Prophet S.A.W.S. inviting his followers to Tawheed of Allah. Well, if Allah is one, how will we use the word Tawheed? Because Tawheed means, yeah. Tawheed is not even Ikhad, you see, Ikhad, Ikhad is, it mean one as unity. Tawheed, we need to fix him. That means Allah is broken mm -hmm. pieces, we have to put him together. Don't you think? Don't you think that there's a little bit of uh, understanding to do? Like, for example, and uh, oh, unless if it means uh, on the, the on the translation, don't you think that it means uh, and uh, Allah, they become one, they become one to Allah. But my friend, Tawheed, uh, we how many times we need uh, to repeat? Tawheed is the wrong word because if you are going to say Allah is one, you do not, you should not use the word Tawheed. You should say Allah is one. So uh, let's just say Wahid, uh, that's... Allah Wahid, that's it. Tawheed, but... Tawheed is an act, is an action to unify things are not together. You have to put them together. So Tawheed, uh -huh, okay. something is divided and or, or something is uh, uh, not the same person or it's not the same object. We want to make them one object. This is what Tawheed is. So, so, if Allah is one, how we can use uh -huh. the word Tawheed? This is the point. Allah, yeah, Allah is one so, already, supposedly. So, the word Tawheed is wrong. Uh, so, uh, what you, the correct word should have been used was and yuahidu ilallah. Right? Wahid, wahid. wahid, and not wahid. No, not yuahidu. Wahid. Wahid. ilallah il wahid. That's it. That's it. Okay, because yuahidu. What you wahidu mean? This is very funny. I mean, how in the world you say you wahidu? I'm, uh, so I'm just telling from my knowledge. And yeah, you, friend, and you okay. But anyway, we will go with this. Listen, uh, uh, is Allah is one or two? Uh, uh, I mean, you already know the answer, but uh, I'm no, not I, sure I, why I you want try. I want your answer. Uh, sir, inna Allah wahidul ahad. Okay. okay. How what? Allah is wahid and he is ahad in the same time? Okay, yeah, exactly. In this in this sentence, Wahid al Ahad, the one and only. No. Yes. No. Ahad. If I type the word Ahad now in the Quran, we will find that every single verse will take me to say one of. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to type exactly the same thing. Okay, here uh, we go. I just, I just typed the word ahead. You can do the same. Go to QuranWalk.com. Type the word ahead. Look how many times I see it. All of them. Choose any word. It says one off. One off. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, if you, if I mean, we're just taking one word. That's it. We should take the entire thing. Friend, so let's all just. All of them. All of them. They have word after them and word after after them before them. Right. This is what, this, yeah. this is how the word can be used. So all of them they have word after it. So how come all of them they mean one off? All of them they have Mr. words C after it. The question, uh, the question that you're asking is, is just like the way that you explain it to everyone. It's like uh, not the correct uh, question. Mm. Why? It's like uh, it's like uh, like Zachary Nayak said in his videos. Mm. The way he's like, can you take left and right? <laughs> yeah, Zachary Nayak he said that somebody says to him. Uh, how who created God and Zach and Nick, he wanted to refute the atheist he said it's like saying that John he said I went to the hospital and I gave birth but this is silly because uh, yeah but, but, you, because, yeah. but this, is, what is, the, what this is this is silly answer he's still asking you how God came to existence what John uh, cannot give birth have to do with the answer well John cannot give birth is that does that mean Allah cannot give Allah cannot the same as John that means John and Allah are not God because John cannot, for he is not God, but God he can. I mean, we call him Almighty because he is the only person who can do anything. John cannot do. This is why he is John. Yeah. He is not a God. So the Muslim, they have a very funny logic about what God do. As an example, when can no, Allah, no, can, no, no. Can, can Allah have a son? Muhammad? Sorry, sorry. Muhammad, can, I'm sorry. Can, Allah, can Allah have a son, Muhammad? Hold on, uh, we are just opening multiple subjects without even talking about no, no, no. the same we, thing. No, we are talking about the same thing because if Allah can be one, go back. Let's go can, back. Can Allah be one? No. Can Allah can be one or He is one? Uh, sir, uh, what I was uh, what I was saying is he, uh -huh. he did not let, let complete as uh, what you were saying uh, was uh, ahad, and I said the complete sentence is wahid al ahad. Where and when we where can you? How, where does the, what is where? Go to chapter 112, verse number 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and love. It says here, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Sir, hmm. hold on one second. Uh, we were talking about uh, wa, uh, Allah is one. Hmm. Is it one or two? What was your question? And I replied by, and Allahu ahad. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what does that mean? Wahid al-Ahad, but you took the uh, translation That's of Ahad. is one un, un, united one. Okay, hold on. Uh, you, you just took the word Ahad without taking the in Allah Wahid al-Ahad. I just put them together it's, while you're listening. Fardu Samad, you know, I am listening, mm. but uh, I'm just trying to get you the the answer that you're looking for uh, because uh, I'm uh, what I'm trying to. Uh, do you know, what, what, do you know uh, what the word Samad mean? So, uh, hold on, there is. Multiple translations of the word summit. I don't care about translation. You speak Arabic. Do you know what summit mean? Uh, yes, but there is multiple answers to summit. Because do you know what the word summit mean? I don't care what multiple. Don't multiple. What's wrong with this religion? Is your God Allah using correct or easy word to describe Himself, or He's a foolish man? He decided to choose words. Nobody knows what they mean, so everybody give his own interpretation. What else? Have you ever heard of the word Masmuda? Uh, so how come the uh, have you like ever heard the, of the word masmuda? Yeah, the, okay, what masmuda the, mean? the saving box, you know, saving where box, we put exactly. The, so Allah is a summit, Allah is a collection. We put them in one whole. Allah is Ahad, who was summit. So Allah is a collection of God. All together, they make Wahid, they make united God. So Allah who summit, or who Ahad. So he is one of many united. Sir, so the word Samad, uh, you got, uh, you, you translated the word and you explained it. So there is another meaning of the word Samad. Can false, you also do false that? False meaning. This is all is false. Where you get this, uh, first of all, of all, the word Samad is not even Arabic. This is Aramaic. So in order to understand it, we have only to go by the Aramaic. Look what the Muslim, they say. Allah Samad means self-sufficient. Where did they get this from? In which language? Uh, 
uh, you just uh, jumped again, sir. No, like I this said, is I am... not. This is not Arabic. As Samad is an Aramaic word. So um, how it became um, self-sufficient? You, I just asked you what Masmuda mean. You said to me the box where we collect the money. There's a hole in it. You push your your coin inside, and then one day when you want to collect the money, you break it. It's a collector. It's a yeah. collection. So Allah is a collection. That is Masmud. Masmud. Okay, let me ask you. There was a, a, there was a an idol. His name is God. His name is Masmud. Idol. Hmm? Idol by the name of Masmud. Uh -huh. I think you have interpreted that. I believe you. The, you're the one who researched it. it doesn't, so doesn't I matter. think you know the answer. So I'm asking you. Is it true? Uh, how can I how can I answer that without having the knowledge? Why you don't have the knowledge? Okay. I don't know the if there was or is um, mm. sculpture or anything that is that was named uh, okay. Samad. Mm. Well, let us see what uh, what uh, Ibn Kathir and you know the, the funny is that the Muslims when they try to fix uh, when they try to fix their Quran and their stupidity of the tafsir of the Quran, they uh, they have to delete things. Look with me in the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. I can't. This uh, is, if I turn this is Ibn yo, Kathir. It... This is a copy, photocopy of Ibn Kathir. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do you see it? Uh I'm I'm hearing you. I cannot uh, see it. If I turn on the YouTube on the same mobile okay, later you the can voice... look, later you can look for it. But if we go to Ibn Kathir, the one published in the internet, they took it off. What, oh. they, what they have now, look, let, let me show you what they have. You know, look at this, look at this here. This is here, different version. Here it says, Fasanam yuqalu lahu samad. Sanam. It's an idol. It's a, samad. A, samad, yeah. So this is what it says in front of your eyes. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. What the Muslim they do? Uh -huh. They delete it, but too late. I mean, the people have millions of people have the books already in Arabic. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, that is correct. Yeah. Uh, what um, uh, um, uh, I don't want to be uh, brain scattered again. So we were talking about Samad, right? And yeah. so Samad you said and Samud, Samad and Samud, both of them they are idols. What this <laughs> idol is? He is a hole. He is a box. People they put donation inside him. Why? Because he is the collector of gods. All gods are inside. So Allah is Ahad. Ahad is one of the idols. As Samad, he is the collector of all gods. They are going to be inside him. He did not give birth, for he was an idol. And nobody is equal for him. There was nothing like this god. Why nothing like him? But this is the only idol they have. No, nothing like it. Uh, okay, so you give me the 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 name Samad was used as a uh, as uh, as uh, to describe uh, to what uh, a Samad. I'm idols. showing you what the Samad is. This is Ibn Kathir mm -hmm. saying Ibn Kathir saying there is an idol, God idol, mm -hmm. a pagan god statues mm -hmm. around the Kaaba. One mm -hmm. of them is called Samad. The other one is called Samud. Uh, and, so, I, I, and I show you the reference. And this is the Tafsir. Oh, okay. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Tafsir okay. for the same verse, chapter 112. But, uh, Mr. CP, hmm. we were talking about the word Samad, and you started to add on add on different things to Samad. I'm uh, not like adding, my friend. This is what the word means. What's wrong with you? I'm showing you what the word means. Samad does not mean what they say. The self-sufficient. No. Hold on, boss. Uh, sorry. Uh, we were saying, uh, uh, first of all, uh, let me say this once again. I am dyslexic, so when there is like multiple things coming onto my head, I just, my okay. brain just... I gave you enough information for today. I want you to review the video again. Search all the reference I gave you. Think about it, study it more, and then you call me maybe tomorrow. What do you think? No, I will open the video and yes, uh, take everything and I will explain it to you. So uh, before, before we end this conversation, sorry. All right. Can I... Samad, I think you are also, uh, you understand Arabic. Mm. Uh, can you tell me the more different versions of the word Samad? 
There's only this is, uh, this is not there's no version of it. This is Arabic. This is not Arabic lore. This is Aramaic. And some would mean the collector, the collection, or the collector. So it have to be a collection of things where you put them together. This is what Masmuda came yeah. from. Coming from the Aramaic language, there's no other meaning. And when the Muslim now trying to fix it, they are trying to find the meaning because this is an, a word. Like as an example, if I say to you, Yasin, what Yasin mean? That is a different question. Now you're adding no, 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 different I'm not, things. I'm not adding, I'm not adding. Just to give you an example, how Muslims desperately, they do Just not know what their God is about. What Yasin mean? Sir, help me, please. I'm helping you. Help me. I'm asking you now, what Yasin mean? Do you know? Uh, you uh, Hold on. The, we are still on the subject of... We are in the subject. Some. We are showing you that this is all Aramaic. Muhammad is a fraud. Read. This that's, is Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. It says from the narration, from the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, upon mm -hmm. the interpretation of Allah saying, uh, Yasin, he said, Yasin, mean a human being in the Syriac language. Like, what the heck? Uh, if, we like open, my... if we open, hold on, my friend, you, you just listen to me on YouTube. If we open the, the Aramaic dictionary, we will laugh. The Muslim, they understood very well that this is a pure Aramaic. They don't know what it means. If Allah is speaking to the Arab, why he is he speaking in Aramaic? If it's mean a human, can't Allah use the word human in Arabic? Why he is using Aramaic? Because Muhammad is a fraud. He is copying it from a book. He do not know what the word means. You change the translator. Let us see the, the interpretation. This is a Jalalain. A Jalalain. He say nobody knows what they mean. This is the interpretation. Nobody knows what they mean. And the same for Asama. They don't know. They are just guessing. Every potato Abdul, he gave his own guessing. It's like somebody in the old days, they want to wash clothes, and I can do better, let me show you. He grabbed the trouser or the underwear, it's full of poo-poo. Squeeze it more, oh, you did not do good, I will do better, let me show you. Yeah, sin, yeah is a word meaning God. Sin is the name of the God. And the word sin is until now used in the Latin and English. That's why we say this is sin. Sin is the name of the moon god, pagan. So when, when they start saying this is sin, using the word sin, they mean pagan. Sin is the moon god. Yeah, is a word being God. Your God is the moon god. What you have seen is. Yeah. Go search it in Google right now. Is yeah I mean the word God? Yes. Sin is the name of the God. Which God is sin? Is moon God. Where we can't find the temple is in Yemen. If we go right now and check the Kaaba, we will find there's a corner. It's called the Yemeni corner. Why it's called Yemeni Corner? Because there is a stones, they brought them from the Moon God Temple in Yemen to build the Kaaba. People, the original temple was in Yemen. People, they go all the way there. The people of Mecca, they decide to open a branch. And not only them, there was more than 16 Kaaba. More than 16. So what they do, they bring some stones from the temple of al maqqa as it's called today in English. al maqqa You can search it in Google. And they put it in the corner of the Kaaba. And Muhammad later, he says, if you touch it, it erase your sin. Because that's what the Arabs believe. So if we go here, let's, let us do this. Let me show you some pictures. Guys, are you getting tired? Are you getting tired? Maybe I should stop for now. You guys may be getting tired huh, for long.
This is the Yemeni corner. The Kaaba have holes, vag vaginas, many vagina. There's a vagina for the black stone openings and zipper. And there's a vagina here. This is the Yemeni corner. If you look with me here, you will see there's a stones. They have different color from the other stones. Why? Because supposedly they are not local. They are brought all the way from Yemen. And the Muslim, they fight over it to touch it. For Muhammad, he says, if you touch it, it erase your sin. That's why they have this opening in the skirt of the Kaaba. Because the Kaaba is a woman. And the Kaaba has two vagina. One is the black stone, is the front door. And one is the back door, it is the Yemeni corner. Pagan. Islam is nothing but pagan religion. And they bow down around it and they worship it. The Muslim, they will say to you, we don't worship this. If you don't, then how do those stones erase your sin? And why you touch them? Ask any Muslim, why you touch this? Uh, he called me. Yes, Muhammad. Uh, sir. Uh, oh? Yeah, what? Yeah, I apologize earlier. I definitely do want to apologize. Yes, you are correct. Uh, like I said, I am studying Bible. Uh, I just uh, the also one of the question uh, one of the things that I desperately wanted to ask you. Hmm. Where should I start? Because let's just say uh, a person who's trying to get into a new knowledge. What uh, what would you recommend? What? Like my starting point to 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 start reading. Before you start reading, you have to first deny Islam, leave Islam, and then you start reading. Before that, you are wasting your time. So, you know, study your religion, study your religion, see if it's true or not. And then when you come to the conclusion, you start reading the Sir, Bible. You know, yeah, uh, one second. So, like, you already read the Quran without turning to Islam. Don't, don't you think that I should also do the same thing, like, at least... Let me try to read. No, I did you not know, start reading the Quran when I am ignorant about my belief. I start reading the Quran after I became a person who knows what is my belief. Then I start oh. reading the Quran, and then okay. I found I, that it is funny, stupid, written by an idiot. Okay, that, I mean, that is your claim. No, but, it's uh, not my claim. I, I prove it. Here we go. Can you refute any of my claim? No, one second. Uh, like I said, sir, I am dyslexic. Uh, my friend, my friend. Uh, well, you, you just said you just say this is my claim. Can you refute any a single claim I said? Yeah, don't you just claim that uh, you said like uh, well, in book is stupid or blah, stupid and other? Okay, no, no, you, okay, here we go. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to give you an example. If I no, ask uh, you, if I ask you, where I is think, who is the thunder? Who is the thunder? Thunder. Yeah. Thunder. The thunder, yeah. Sender. Is the thunder is an angel? No, sender means what? Hmm. Mursil. No, thunder, a rod, a rod, thunder, thunderbolt. Thunder, hmm. yes, that is uh, that is thunder. Okay. In your religion, the thunder is an angel. Uh, right, yes. What about a rod? It's an angel. Uh, sir? Sir, the thunder is Did an angel. Hear? Oh my my! I'm sorry. I just need to. Pr I've I've been pressing things. Yeah, I know that you don't have too much time for me. So can we? Uh, can you help me with the uh, uh, with the first question that I asked? What is the first question? That that I asked uh, on the second call. I said, "What would you recommend me to start reading?" Because uh, when when I made the research, uh, it was a little bit uh, confusing because I couldn't find the beginners. Uh, 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 the beginner's guide my friend I just yes. answer you you are repeating the same question mm -hmm. if you want to read about Christianity mm -hmm. before you start reading about Christianity mm -hmm. you should learn about your religion first is your religion is a good religion or it's a bad religion then you make decision mm -hmm. you say oh are my religion is good now I'm going to read the Christianity I want to laugh at it no problem mm -hmm. but first oh. you need to, first you need to be sure if you believe in the true God or not. So I, I advise you. A lot of hate. <laughs> huh? 
It seems like that you have a lot of hate because you're not. Uh, I mean, you you're not recommending me the start point. For example, yes. What, what do you mean? I, I have a no... lot of hate. If I have a hate, I will hang up on you. I mean, are you you are giving me headache since uh, uh, we are talking for the last hour, and you keep saying to me, "I don't understand," and I'm slow, and I'm etc. And I keep repeating. So if I hate yeah. you, I will hang up on you. I mean, you already did, but uh, that's why I came no, back you and agreed. started You apologizing. said, "Okay, I'm going to search and etc." Yes, I am. I was literally searching, but uh, okay. I, 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 like, so what? What do I you want, little... What do you want me to do exactly? I uh, this is my opinion. You asked me for my opinion. I told you my opinion before. You read about Christianity. You better decide if Islam is a good religion or not. If it's a good religion, you should know your religion, and then you talk about Christianity and you learn about it after you know your religion. And if you want to learn about the Christianity, then if you want to be honest. And you mm -hmm. want to say I'm a Muslim, then you should not look at Christianity from the eyes of a Muslim. Because what the Muslim they do, they right. are not reading the Bible to understand the Christianity. They are reading the mm -hmm. Bible to think it is bad to laugh at it. So if you want to read the Bible, you have to be clean from all assumption. Don't assume. Don't make false fiction. Don't go by what they taught you. This is what I'm trying to say to you. The Quran told you that Christians are liars. Are we? First of all, the Quran says yes, to you, the, the Muslim, they say we corrupt the book. So are we? The Muslim, they says to you that Bible is full of garbage. Does mm -hmm. it? So before you read, you need to finish first or first with the garbage you have. So if you if you agree that the Quran is a book of garbage and everything they say to you about Christianity is false, then you can understand the Bible very well because now you are not making an assumption. But if you go and read the Bible as a Muslim, you have already a pre-made decision about what the Bible is. Uh huh. Hmm. So how can I how can I prove that? Like to prove it, I should uh, I should read it, right? I'm talking about uh, your, uh, you. Okay, it's, it's, yeah. so when yeah. you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, do you agree with the uh, Quran that Jesus is not the Son of God? Sorry, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, like I said, I'm. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, let's just say in my book said uh, the the uh, the occurring corruptions in the Bible. Mm. Okay, mm. and the Bible is a lie. For mm. example, I'm not. I don't know. Okay, no problem. But uh, this is what you say. Mm. So what I'm saying is, how can I prove that is correct? That's why I said to you. How can I prove that that is? This how can I how can I research that? Uh, this is, so a, I this need is the to, question. Uh, you see here here now you start getting smarter. We have a stupid guy. His name is Muhammad. He came six hundred years after Jesus. How he knew that Hello? this book is corrupt or not? He was not there. Exactly. How, he, how? How, how he wasn't there? Okay, he wasn't there. Okay. So uh, do we look, have original? Can, uh, do he have original copy to compare it? Uh, let's just say, uh, I want. Uh, let's just say. Uh, I'm just a regular guy, and I want to. Uh, I want to. I want to prove. Friend, you are a, uh, you are a regular guy or regular an elephant. If we want to compare between two things, one is original and one is not original. We should have the original, so we can compare it. So and we can. Yeah. So do Muhammad exactly. have the original? And uh, how do I know that uh, the prophet has the That's original? Why I say to you, read your Quran, because in your stupid Quran you will see. That Muhammad agree with the book we have, but he don't have anything. Look what the Quran says. Hold on. You see, if you watch from the beginning, it says that the Quran confirm what is between our hand. All right. So this is why I said to you, read your Quran. What is between our hands? The Muslim in the translation, and you, because you speak Arabic, they cannot fool you. Chapter two, verse number sixty-six. It says. Actually, forget about this one. Chapter 2, verse number 97. It says, uh, believing, be, uh, listen, believing in what is between his hands. If you go to the stupid but, translation, you will see they took it off. So, um, in order to see if we have a book corrupted or not, then you have to read the Quran and see if this is true or not. Because this is your book. This is where you take information from. The Quran says, Believing in what he have between his hands. Okay, that's mean that there is a book and it is between his hands and he okay. believe in it. But look at the Muslim translation. They say, 
confirming what came before it. But the Quran doesn't I say that. I will watch the video. Okay. Uh, so that's what I'm saying to you, my friend. Again. You are making me lose my patience with you. No, so no, in no, order to no, discover no. who is the liar, uh -huh. we need to discover. We need to study the document. This is a fraud, uh -huh. because sure. if Muhammad, hold on, if Muhammad he have a book between his hand, and he is confirming the book between his hand, and uh -huh. the, and the book between his hand says. What Muhammad said, the Christian believed that they believe that Jesus is God. So how he confirm mm. it, sir? Uh, sir, call me tomorrow. I am done with you. Sorry, I don't. I cannot take you no more. At least for today. When somebody says the book is corrupted, and then the stupid book says confirming what is between his hand, and the liar, the Muhammadan, they change the translator. So who is the one is a fabricator? It's not us who take the words and will replace them with different meaning. There's nowhere in the verse says confirming what went before it, came before it. There's no came before it. There's no such a thing. The Arabic is so clear. Musaddiqan mean believe. Lima to which? Baina mean between. Yadaihi, his hands. So he believed in a book, which is the book of the Christians, which is between his hands. Then when a dummy, he says that we must then believe that the Quran say clearly that the Quran, the Bible is corrupted, we love. Then there is a different verse the Muslim they will mention to you. It says, Let's read and love together. The verse is not about corruption. It's about they put their finger in the top of a, of a word. Which means they change. But it's stupid, by the way. Because if I put my finger over a line in the book, I did not change the book. And this is how you know that the, the Quran made by a stupid idiot. He doesn't even speak with Arabic. In chapter 4, verse number 46, it says, Those Jews who displace words from their right places. You go and read the story, you will see the guy, the Jewish guy, he put his finger over it. That's it. And this is in the authentic hadith of Muhammad. The guy, he put his finger over the verse that says, stoned him to death. So how the book is corrupted? And how the words are displaced? Because if I put my fingers over something, I'm not displacing words. Then if we check, if this is the scale for corruption, that means the whole Quran is corrupt. Because it says here, those who display the words from their places, well, the whole Quran is displaced. You ask the Muslims, what is the first chapter of the Muhammadan, Muhammad he received? They say to you, the one who Allah squeezed him with, read. Okay, where we can find this chapter? They say to you, 96. How we can, how number one become 96? This is displacing the words from their locations. If you ask the Muslims, where in the Quran it says, Today I completed Islam for you, perfected Islam for you. They say to you, this is in the beginning of the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 3. But that means we have more than a hundred chapters after this. But this verse here, chapter 5, verse number 3, it says, Today, this day, I chosen Islam for you. I perfected this religion for you. This day, I come, even he used the word completed. So Islam is complete. But that does not make any sense. For this verse to be accurate, it should be the end, like when in the old days in the movie, because people, they used to be slow. And they hope that the movie continue. So in the cinema, they used to put the end. So people, hey, okay, bye-bye, we're done.
Otherwise, people will wait. And the, there's other reason for sure, not because it's slow, because the, like in the old days, like they have to change the tape, so they take a break, like 10 minutes, etc. So now there's no more change of tape. That's at the end. So if this is the end of the movie, shouldn't be at the end of the movie? Because it says, today I completed. Today. This day. So this verse, in order to be accurate, it have to be the last verse in the Quran. 